Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hey My High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan, from High Media TV. And today we're going to be uh, looking at the new expansion added to No Man's Sky. Now, granted, I don't always like do videos on expansions. I do do them on expansions that, for No Man's Sky that I think are interesting. The physics engine here is, is interesting. Also, I don't know what I'm going to do for a video tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, because I'm bad, so I'm doing this. Yes, the algorithm may not like it because it's coming out a couple days after this. But you know what? I don't give a shit because I won't talk about No Man's Sky and I'm probably going to do a stream of it uh, the day that this releases. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to come watch. And, uh, I'm thinking about instituting a new um, thing where if you tip you know, X amount of money, it'll increase uh, the time I have to stream by X amount of time. So... Something, something to bear in mind. Anywho, uh, this is the one. This is the 5.0 update. So it is a world transformed to universe into a richer, wild, and more very diverse place, and featuring huge leaps in water and cloud visuals. That's awesome. Increased planetary diversity, new gameplay features, and more. Okay, cool. I'm actually interested in the new gameplay features. There's a lot of cool gameplay. A uh, big hunt expedition, the Liquidator. The engaging the galactic bug hunt to Nomad's 14th community expedition. A vile brood is spreading corruption across the universe. You're on the Liquidator Vanguard and do your part to burst the rock. Stars. See, this is cool. Um, I do hope that they add like something like this to like the base game, which I think would be really, really cool. Like, there's like, like, um, like every third system has a single celestial body with an infestation on it, which I think would be really, really cool. Uh, I'm hoping they answer that. That recording could be on all the side travelers to look at Violet Taurus. We are going to be playing that expedition when it comes out, or if it's out right now, we're going to be playing it uh, probably tomorrow on stream. Discovery renaming. Discovery system plans cannot be renamed at any time, even after upload. Lovely! That's great, actually. Plant. Oh, oh, oh. A word? Planets have been transformed. Gravitational distortions have forced some lush and tropical worlds, shaking loose floating islands now drift along in the atmosphere alongside the planet's surface. Hop from rock to rock with jetpack or starship build bases in the sky, simply Marta I love that. I love, 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 love that. That's so fucking cool. Uh, new volumetric. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love that. That's so fucking cool. They changed the clouds to that much degree. Customized solar ships. I actually haven't found a solar class starship yet, so um, I didn't know that this wasn't an option. So I love that. That's awesome. Uh, detailed shadows. Okay, so they changed the shadow boxes. That's uh, actually awesome. I So this is, just to be clear, a giant rework of their physics engine, which is awesome. High definition water. Oh, that looks fucking gorgeous. So, for those who aren't aware, like, the No Man's Sky water used to look like just drool puddles or drool, like, like pools of drool that you're in. And now that they add, like, I, they didn't really have, like, that texture and wave definitions. And apparently, from what I hear, that the actual um, wind engine that they use, is it, it influences how the water actually looks, which is really, really cool. Uh, discovery new strange creatures, bizarre floral hybrid stalks of planets, wealth of environments with saving like whispers and petal like pieces. I love that. Plant monsters. Let's fucking go. Like, and like I said earlier, full wind simulation. That's awesome. Um, I think in this, this, the, the, here's the thing. Them changing the physics engine like this will, is definitely going to breathe new life into some planets. And it's going to make more barren planets feel like more interesting. Uh, dynamic bodies of water. Uh, glassy lakes, turbulent oceans, depending on still some degrees and depths of water, violent storms can generate dramatically choppy seas and huge ocean swells. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I love that. That's really cool. Uh, Liquidator Combat Mech. Car through the toughest enemies and the new heavy duty mech suit. All those who do their part in the Liquidator's expedition will unlock these new combat focus components of the Minotaur. As the community purchases the Bob from the universe, plans for these parts will become available at the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Those unable to take for those unable to take part in the expedition. Awesome. One of the biggest frustrations I had with uh, previous expeditions was that I just didn't have the time or full power to like sit through and do the expedition. So now that they're adding things to the Synthesis Companion, I love that. That's awesome. 
Frozen worlds have been transformed with isolating trees and glacial glittering rocks. We plan the surfaces as well as a significant number of flora and mineral formations throughout Quebec. Okay, so so it seems like all of the plant different planet types are going to be getting a breath of fresh life, which is awesome. Oh, and the deserts look so much nicer now. Oh, that's wonderful. More sky colors than deeper in the 90s, 70s, and 50s with a range of new sky colors, including some rare views for dedicated explorers to discover. Nice! That's cool. Insect armor set. Complete the liquidators into the condition age, earn a bull bodysuit of organic armor. Embrace the aesthetic of the vile brood with or flaunt the evidence of Baron doing with shitness gotten with spurs, mantles, and exoskeletons. That's cool. I'm, I'm not married to it, but I think it's interesting. Engine enhancement. So, so this is the underlying game engine, not the source of Rendering of environmental objects such as trees, rocks, grass, can move to a GPU base. Good. Allowing for denser worlds. Okay. Terrain generation has been rewritten to incorporate dual marching cube blocks while meshing, increased loading speed, great rain safety. Nice. Awesome. Interaction labels. All right. They made the interaction labels bigger, which is. A lot that that is a that's a wonderful quality of life update. Uh, beetle diversity, a wide variety. Okay, so they basically are taking the beetles and making them more interesting, which I love. I love that. Dynamic storms, exploring a plant during blizzard storms storm is more exhilarating than ever. New ambient effects, it's made their atmospheric fog combined with wind response particle effects to create dynamic storms that suit across the planet's surface. That's going to make it a lot cooler. Oh, and they've got twitch drops. Cool. Uh, all right, cool. So it sounds like we are going to be, uh, looks like we're playing some No Man's Sky this weekend, folks. Walker battles are now framed by a detailed combat HUD, including the target vulnerabilities in the, the, okay, cool. So they added actual, uh, an actual boss bar to the Sentinel, um, to the Walker battles, because now it's not going to, they're not going to just be. Walking tanks, which is nice. Uh, Chitin Flight Pack. Yeah, more from the expedition. Discover oceans and a huge range of vibrant colors, including iron-rich red seas to algae sense pools of green. Mid explorers may find some especially unusual colors on very plain That's nice. It's new strange nutrients for cooking. Uh, very rarely in sections where an anomaly feel the strongest planetary buildings have evolved legs to transform themselves into sentient constructs that grow the lands. Ooh, that's actually really fucking cool. I like that. New technology allows stair ships to start to land directly on the surface of water, enabling travelers to dive directly to the seas from the nose of their starships. Starships may also be summoned to the water for a quick escape from the middle of the ocean. That is a gigantic quality of life increase that I cannot begin to tell you how much it was to actually skylight base parts. Bring me in the new the stress of basic new skylight roofing parts. Cool. That and those look really pretty. I love that. Planetary atmosphere effects are deeper, richer, more varied, with big snowfall, flex bash, and ember heavy rain holds some dust, storm as well and visually. It's good. It makes them hopefully easier to see while exploring. Okay, so they're they are actually acting ad, adding vile insects uh to the base game. That's good. So some quality some QOL quality of life upgrades. The docking track The docking tractor beam the space stations and trade are now smoother. Reloading can be interrupted by quickly cycling what the most awesome. Refiners can now be quick filled with an entire stack of items, core technology can be instantly repaired from the quick menu, and the range of analysis fire targets has been dramatically improved, and much more. Awesome. New gestures, that's cool. I don't play multiplayer, so that's not a huge thing for me. Um, so they've improved, they've improved the water line for underwater bases, that's good. Uh, DLSS3, Deep Learning Search Super Sample DLS3 is an NVIDIA technology built using layers, which uses deep learning neural networks to frame rates to generate good structure, which is cool. I'm glad they added this. This will make streaming this game significantly easier. Bobber's next mission. Observers aboard the Space Anomaly regret the spread of the bottle brought across the universe. Their queens and grubs serving the delicate balance of both the ecosystems. They request that travelers band together and call these invasive species. And restore the balance to nature, group up with friends or streams with an excess. Okay, cool. Love that. 
Eventually. Okay, so the Noxious Worlds are getting an uplift too. Wait, I thought Noxious Worlds already existed. I guess they didn't. A uh, new toxic climate, these worlds have the horizons alive with alluring and poisonous flora while under while the ground underneath bubbles with oozes of liquid supply. Interesting. Colossal insect trophies. Okay, so there is actually like bug hunter trophies that are encourage us to actually do that fighting. Uh, hungering tendril encounters test your with the hungering tendrils. Many mouths can create soft lush with the travelers. They now spit us at a critical range of progress in these jungle investment trip. Okay, so they added the pud to the uh uh to the Worm larvas. Irradiated landscapes, cool. Hunt destroy insect paints around new playoff tiles and harvest them. Open headpiece to strike terror in your group, close to the skull. Nice, okay, cool. The Minotaur flamethrower, that's cool. Excited for that. Scorch worlds have been transformed with a wealth of new and diverse fiery flora, super coated heated crystals, ush dust, and amphitheaters have formed. Okay, the sky box is getting some new variety is really pretty. I like that a lot. Um Blossoming Mega Flora. Lush worlds have bloomed into life. Discover idyllic garden planets flourishing with exotic flowers. Perfect for exploration, discovery, or the construction of a beautiful new base. Awesome. Alright, cool. Water rendering. Love, love that. Opponents are supposed to be reworked to increase speed and reuses. Train generations to reprint. Break door will march and keep some possible missions. This is planetary objects now. Looks something more detailed and realistic. Nice. I'm going to see if I, I'm going to fiddle around with BLSS3 and see how it is. Um, fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, no, this is cool. So um, I'm, I'm stoked for this. Uh, this is uh, exciting. Um, you know, there's love the general quality of life improvements. I think the beauty and like the the vibrant, interesting of how the world's up is probably gonna get good going on an exploration uh punk. Um it kinda makes me wanna um work on my freighter some more. And um it kind of makes me want to like kind of get that the mobile base aspect of that rocking and rolling, as it were. So uh yeah, let's uh fucking go. Y'all uh Exciting. Uh, I did see. I uh, there's a lot of systems that they put out. <sighs> excuse me, that I haven't had a chance myself to engage in. So I'm uh looking forward to it. Let's uh fucking do it, y'all. Um, on that note, uh, go away to pre-recorded Evan. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.